Hello, in this video I'll do a quick overview of the new suction cup detector in Litchi Slicer. What you see on my screen is obviously a failed print when you have only your supports and no prints. It can be the cause of multiple factors like your tips are way too small, but another problem can be the suction cup. Then you have the original model on screen right now, which has been created by Jason Length. If I'm just moving up and down my clipping bar, as you can see, my model has been hollowed, which can be useful to save some resin or reduce the strength applied on your print during the peeling process, but there is no drain holes. And this is the cause. What you see here is a big cavity and without a hole, there is no way for the resin or the air to flow during the process, the peeling process. That's why you need to add some holes. It's very important to not underestimate this suction cup. It's a huge, huge uh, issue that you can have and most of the time you will have failed print like, like this one or you may see some cracks and holes and stuff like that. In this new beta of Litchi Slicer, you will find in the holes uh, section category, the suction cup detector or in the hollowing 3D. It's the same tool. Of course, you can find it in the hollow uh, section there. And it's very easy to use. Click on the search selected button. And now on screen, Litchi Slicer is displaying where you have suction cups. Then of course you have one, a big one inside of the object, but you can notice a very small one there, which may be not very important, but it's important to consider them as much as possible. Then a suction cup is not only inside of a model, but it can be, of course, on multiple locations. You need to consider that based on your point of view, that if you move your clipping bar to the location on this area there, you have a small suction cup. There is no way here to have an exit path for the resin or the air when you're putting these small areas. Of course, it can be way bigger. Then the solution to solve these suction cups is to add some drain holes. I'm going in the hole section and okay, let's put a hole just in the middle. Of course, being very careful about having enough penetration value there. Let's increase that a little bit. And now let's run again the suction cup detector. Okay, and it's a lot better, but I still have a suction cup. Why? because my drain hole is not at the beginning of the cavity. It's very, very important to put as much as possible, of course, if you can, your drain holes as close as possible from the beginning of your cavity. Now, if I'm running that again, it has been fixed, except the small cavity there. If you click on the show button, Litchi Slicer, we move the camera to put the focus on the selected suction cup that you can see here. And of course, if you have multiple of them, you can switch like that between all the suction cups which has been detected. Now let's take another example, the Litchi Slicer chicken, which has been hollowed before like that. And as you can see, there is no drain hole. And if I'm running now the suction cup detector, you will notice that you have a big one. Then, like I did before, I can add a new hole, let's say on this location. I can press the space bar if I want to have something bigger, like that. And I'm running again the detector. And nothing changed. What happened? Well, the reason is perhaps not that obvious. This model is designed to be printed directly on the build plate. And I did a hole there. But what is below the hole? The build plate. Then there is no way for the resin like I said before, to flow all the air to flow inside of this big cavity. That's why you need to put your hole more on this location like that. Let me just increase its size. And now in theory, you shouldn't have a cavity because the air can go through this opening there and then inside of the drain hole. Let's run again the detector. And as you can see, problem has been solved there is not anymore any suction cup. By the way, if for some reason you still have some suction cup on some areas, don't forget that you can use the hollowing blockers, which will uh, uh, very easily let you create some very basic primitive, like this one. You can do something very 
uh, basic there. And when you are using this tool, you can prevent the hollowing to be created on these areas. Like that, no cavities at all. Let me update that. And now if I'm using the clipping bar, you see that there is no cavity at all inside of the feet of the chicken. If you have the pro or premium subscription of Litchi Slicer, always use the suction cup detector as soon as you are ready to print your model to be sure that you don't forget any cavity. And then if you have some cavities, do your best to remove them by using some extra drain holes or change their position or eventually using some hollowing blocker. We hope that you will enjoy this new feature of Litchi Slicer and it will prevent you to have failed prints because of suction cap. See you in another video of Litchi Slicer. Bye bye.